Podcast. Brought to you by Eco Alkalines, environmentally responsible batteries. Cat5.tv slash eco. I received this in the mail this week. And Carly, I know you're watching. Hi, Carly. Hey, Carly. Is that I, Carly? No. These things can be great. They can be horrible at the same time. These are mini DVDs. I have taken apart a whole laptop <laughs> to get one out again. To get one out? Yeah. Oh, they, it wasn't in there? <laughs> it was an Sitting apple. just right? Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Well, here's, here's the, the thing. These are quite often used for, for what? Video cameras that take mini DVDs, mm -hmm. right? But if a user is, is filming something and then ejects that DVD without first closing it, you take that DVD home and it will not play. For the life of you, it will not play. You know that it's recorded on there, but there's absolutely no way to get it to play. So Carly sent this in, and, and I guess Carly was watching the show when we were talking a, a couple weeks ago about the fact that DVDs, CDs are a dangerous way to store your data because they degrade over time, and they will eventually lose your data. So when she popped this into her DVD player and it didn't play, of course, immediately she thinks, oh no, the DVD has degraded. Well, I've got good news for you, Carly. I took a look at this with DD, which is a copying software in Linux. And when I did that... It stands for Disk Destroyer? No. It doesn't. Nobody <laughs> really knows what it stands for. Disk Duplicator. Direct Dub, yeah. Whatever. Um, using that tool, I was able to copy the entire DVD to my hard drive without fail. So there were no bad problems with this. Degradation was not your problem. What had happened is that the disk was removed from the camera without first being finalized. So there's nothing but that camera that can now play that because the disk is not converted to DVD. This isn't a phishing scam, but send us your camera, please. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked into how we could fix this for you, and I found some software. And, you know, it's $50, $100 to get this special software. Please send that via this. PayPal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's not good enough for, no. for us. Okay. Sorry, Eric. Sure. I know. He's looking for a new phone. So, yeah. <laughs> now maybe there's a chance. Okay, so what I did is I thought, okay, well, we're, we're Linux fans here. We're fans of open source. What would happen if I ran this through test disk? Test disk, of course, being free software, free. which includes photo rec. It's photo recovery, but photo rec uses a sector so by So it doesn't wreck photos, it's... REC, recovery, <laughs> right? So what I'm going to do here, Carly, live on the air, we're going to see if this is possible. I've got my computer screen up here. We're going to see all your pictures. I'm going to go into the terminal. And folks, if you've got one of these disks that you're unable to read, here's what we want to do. I'm going to go into... Now, first of all, you need to make sure that you have test disk. So you go sudo apt get install test disk in Linux. Okay, Enter your super user password and you'll see that I already have this installed. It's already the newest version. So for me now, I'm going to type in photo rec. R-E-C. It tells me I need to enlarge the terminal, so let's do that. There we go. So photo rec is free software. Remember we're looking at software that could be fifty or a hundred dollars. Now we're looking at this from a different perspective. I'm going to go sudo to become super user. Compare at yeah, comparable at however much money. So when I do that, I'm actually seeing the uh, the two hard drives that I have in my computer. Unfortunately, for the sake of the demonstration, I was hoping that it would detect the disk. I thought that I had it in the drive. It seems that I do not, but I'm just going to let you know. Using that software, what it does is it goes through sector by sector. Now, even a disk like this, you got to remember that the data is on there. The video is on there, it's just that it's not in a format that's readable. So what I was able to do is use PhotoRec, uh, browse to the disk itself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just see if I can eject this and, and get access to it. I was kind of hoping to show you. And it doesn't look like I do have access to that disk, unfortunately. Did you sudo? Yeah. But using PhotoRec, you can recover sector by sector any files that are on a disk, even if the disk is not finalized. So having done that, Carly, I was able to find a, an MPEG file on your disk, which is video. And the video was about an hour and 20 minutes long-ish. And I've copied that uh, onto another media for you. So 
for absolutely free of charge now from you know, looking at possibly fifty to a hundred dollars test disk which is a Linux tool uh, saved the day was able to actually copy the data right off of that disk absolutely no problem and very very quickly as well so uh, so I was quite pleased about that but I wanted to share that with you the viewers because maybe you've got media where you know it's it it could be anything test disk is able to read CD uh, hard drive um, anything that it can get a physical access to a flash drive for your camera you know if, it, if you've taken a whole bunch of pictures and then the battery dies all of a sudden you can't access your flash drive you plug it into the to the computer bring up photo rec browse to it and just walk through the steps and it will uh, it will do it with this particular case using these disks in Linux in photo rec I just chose all the default options it, it's an uh, like a standard formatted disk uh, because we know it's ISO because it's uh, it's a, DV a DVD so just walk through the prompts and it copied everything to my computer so good to go saved saved thanks to Linux Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.